What's up, YouTube? This is Scruffy from Team Dark Horse. I decided to make another video um, going more in depth about each individual card. Um, I forgot to do that. I ran out of time. I was more focused on the matches. Uh, I figured this might get in a little more more depth. Uh, things I might change to the deck when I re uh, come back and play it. But again, the format's about to change, so uh, the deck was going to change regardless. But basically, Stratos obviously uh, did what it needed to do. Never used its second effect, so. Alias, uh, you know what, it's a great card, but it's stupid to have all three in your hand at the same time. Um, let's see, Chaos Plants, I, I opened with, uh, two, and had a reinforcement of the army, so basically, summon Stratos, get the third, and then you got, like, two back row, and without a spark or a hero blast or anything, um, it's kind of hard to do anything with. Uh, you can't play the deck without three, which is bad luck, but... That's what happened uh, and against Chaos Plants. Otherwise, uh, it was obviously pretty good. Um, I can't. I don't think I ever used Honest with. I think I used Honest uh, with T King Rayo uh, most of the day. Um, obviously, this card was great. Six Sam's. They couldn't search with Gateway. Um, he tried to do it, and I had to remind him about it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, so obviously, it's a good card. Uh, this format, next format, uh, good card in general. Cyber Dragon. I almost wish I'd have played three of these. Uh, I know three sounds stupid, um, but uh, at Columbus, Cyber Dragon was not a dead draw. It was very much playable, and I wish I had more. Um, basically, they, these guys, my beaters, ate back row a lot, and I'd rather have just saved Cyber Dragon to eat the back row instead, um, especially against gadgets. DD Whirly was uh, obviously very good. Helped me stall. Uh, I used Honest with DD Boy Lady, I think, twice on the day. And that helped obviously keep it on the field so that it deal with it one more turn. Uh, obviously, a very good card. I would not run three of it, two is just fine. I think I wrote it into it once. Honest was great. You get, uh, can't complain about Honest. Um, actually, against six Sam's, I poked with Honest. I had to bounce it back to my hand and then set it again. That's how desperate I was for monsters, actually. Um, even though I ran 14 monsters with search cards and duality and all that, I was still begging for monsters uh, in a couple games. And basically, it was when I was left to top decking, and it was against six Sam's and Black Wings. Spirit Reaper was good at stalling. Um, obviously, it worked in, like, in every aspect that it should work. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have uh, got rid of Sheehan by attacking a clear field and discarding their Sheehan from their hand. That was just unfortunate. Uh, that usually shouldn't happen, but whatever. Spirit Reaper's still good. I would still play it. Uh, this format, next format, that's not going anywhere. If I had a third duality, I would have used it. Duality was amazing. Can't complain about it. If it gets hit to two, that kind of ruins this. doesn't ruin the deck's consistency, but definitely slows it down a little bit. We need three. Uh, to get the to get the other cards you can't search for, Gemini Spark was important all day. Uh, let's see, Hero Blast or Emergency Call Rota actually against Cast Plants. Emergency was dead because I ended up top decking that uh, the same game that ended up having uh, all three alias in my hand. It kind of sucked. I used it as back rows of bluff, um, so that kind of sucked. Uh, triple Book. I do wish I had the second MST. I thought. MST wouldn't be as important because there's not any bad matchups where I need to get rid of back row. But against gadgets, uh, I wish I'd had the second MST main because that I'd gotten rid of Fura Kazin uh, or whatever that was. And against Black Wings, it would have helped too. Just wish I had more of that. Uh, I don't know what I would have taken out to get it in there, but let's see. Hero Blast. Uh, okay, now I was all for Hero Blast. Uh, when I went to my locals, but went to regionals, I actually had to play out of bad hands because of Hero Blast. I opened with double Hero Blast and double Gemini Spark without a without any kind of alias or any kind of thing I could do it with. Obviously, um, against GBs, it was game one. I thought I was screwed, but I was able. Or was it game three? It's either game one or game three, and I honestly thought I was gonna lose uh, until I top decked Rota and went straight for alias, so I could start abusing that engine. So that worked really well. Um, there's some times where I wish I could swap out the third Hero Blast, and that's, I mean, if I was, if, if the format changed very little, but they still left Gateway Unlimited, 
or yeah, unlimited. I'd probably swap out the third hero blast for second MST. Um, that might make the deck a little bit more consistent, but less uh, less. I guess I don't know if the explosive is the word, but definitely hero blast gets you your minuses, gets your opponent minuses, and I would miss that for sure. Warning, bottomless. Warning uh, is a terrible top deck when your life points were low. I drew it late game against six Sam's and I couldn't use it. That sucked. I almost you have to run warning though. Warning just stops so much. If anything, I may drop a hero blast for a second dimensional prison, but again, the format is going to change and bottomless is going to be way more important when six Sam's come out. Mirror force, torrential, solemn, oppression, and the one D prison. Uh, the one D prison worked fantastic. Uh, removed. I uh, oh, shoot. What was it? I can't remember what card it was. Uh, but it was against six M's, and that uh, helped make me push for the one game I won because we were left at top decking. So that helped out. But anyways, guys, that's the deck that I got to play against or play with. I'm sorry. Um, I don't think I used consecrated. No, no, I used Consecrate against Black Wings, but that was literally it. Otherwise, I didn't draw it. King Tiger Wangu, I only played one plant synchro, and it was funny. The guy, uh, I had the outs to beat him in game two. I had the outs to beat Sonny, uh, his Chaos Plants, but I tell you what, he top decked so good. Uh, he even admitted to it. He's, he said he luck sacked me. He had, uh, what was it? He had Giant Trunade, Cold Wave, and I think Monster Born, both games. Um,. Yeah, I can't stop the Trunator or Cold Wave. I'm not someone to judgment it, but I didn't. I cited out Judgment Game too. Um, he book a mooned King Tiger. Uh, I got the Chain Disappearances Raiko, uh, but that didn't do a whole lot. And I did top deck Necro Valley, but that was pointless because he was able to get rid of it with a. Uh, I think he bombed the field with Black Rose. Uh, oh, I think it was. Oh, Andy, <laughs> another instance of him uh, just top decking like a mofo was. Glow up bulb. He milled one for glow bulb, and of course, it was dandelion. <laughs> so he milled a dandelion with glow bulb's effect, and that was just that was the icing on top. Uh, Snowman eater, obviously for black wings, that worked out well. Uh, got rid of dad. It pretty much won me the game. Effect failure. I, I did. I think I cited it in against plant Sneaker, but never saw it, so it didn't, it didn't matter. Luminous sparks never played a. Uh, Gravekeepers, that didn't matter. I sent in the second MST a uh, few times. Uh, one was against 6 Sam, uh, well, obviously games 2 and 3 against 6 Sam. I sent it in against Black Wings and Gadgets. So basically, I should have probably ran the second MST. Smashing, I sent it in against Black Wings. Necro Valley, Plant Synchro, and that was about it. Um, Chain Disappearance, obviously, Plant Synchro. Not much decided in against though I didn't have the right matchups to play chain disappearance and skill drain I didn't even play at all because there was no point in playing it against any of the decks that I played uh, so basically chain, skill drain could have been anything but I needed that in case I ran into formula monarchs or uh, uh, what was it formula monarchs and official TK so it was a necessary evil to have in the side deck even if I didn't use it if I had more room I'd have prize <laughs> call it crazy I'd have probably went third king or t king tiger and if I could, I'd really have to think about it, but I'd have probably cited, if I had a main deck, the second MST, I'd have cited their third Hero Blast. Uh, so that was one of the things I would have probably done. But basically, uh, that was it. That was the deck. Six and three, guys. So I'm happy about that. The next Columbus Regionals isn't for a while, so I'm going to be toying around with a ton of other stuff. We'll see how the format changes first before I make any huge changes, but I'm going to be retiring this deck for a little bit. Uh, definitely until the next format. So, uh, if you guys uh, played against me and you're seeing this video, uh, hit me up, let's talk. Uh, you guys were all pretty cool for the most part, so I'd, like, I'd love to play you guys again. I uh, hope you, Hopefully I can see uh, all you guys at the next regional, at the next Columbus regionals anyway. Um, and best of luck in the future. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Team Dark Horse out.